Okay, so now we're in a time where everybody is sitting at home and wondering what they're gonna watch on Netflix. Netflix stocks have gone up. I mean, it's a great time for Netflix. I put out a video of a monster movie that not a lot of people know about. I mean, I love monster movies and I didn't even know about this. So I decided to compile a list of some monster movies that I feel are great with suspense because that's one thing I loved about that monster movie that I watched recently. It had a great amount of suspense. It was dark and it was creepy and a lot of modern day monster movies aren't really like that. One of my all-time favorites, of course, is Jurassic Park, but most people know about Jurassic Park, even like the young generation. So here is a list, and I'm not going to give away anything if I make a dedicated video to any of these titles and expect spoilers in here, but since this is meant to refer you to movies like this, I'm not going to be putting any spoilers. I'm going to be giving a very short description. The first one on the list is Jeepers Creepers. If you want a creepy, creepy movie where the entire antagonist is so mysterious you have no idea what the hell is going on and then when it starts picking up you're on the edge of your seat Jeepers Creepers is definitely the movie to start with. The first one I feel is the best but the second one also adds something to it. It is a franchise. There are I think four movies with Jeepers Creepers. The last few movies I didn't really enjoy them as much as I did the first two but it is definitely something that you should watch if you have not watched it. Oh my gosh I love the way that they did the antagonist. I'm not going to tell you what the antagonist is because no one's even really sure and one of the things I like about the suspense of these movies is not just the the air of suspense and not getting jump scares it's not ever knowing exactly what the antagonist is I mean they try to tell little stories here and there but no one ever really knows the next one is mimic all I gotta say is one of my favorite movies since I've seen when I was little it's not at all what you expect it to be let's just say that the next on the list is the descent the descent has some crazy suspense. It's one of the movies, just like every other one on this list, where you feel as though you're a part of what's going on in the movie. You feel like you're not being entertained. You feel like you're in the movie. You're, you're experiencing what these characters are experiencing, and your heart is in your throat the entire time. It's the kind of movie where you actually feel ill. Like, you feel like your health is in danger because of all the tension you're feeling watching what's happening on screen. Excellent movie. It's definitely in my titles of favorite monster horror movies. Of course, the classic, The Thing. Many people know about this, of course, but there's still a lot of people I've spoken to that have no idea what I'm talking about. And they're like, do you mean it? I'm like, no, no, I don't mean it. This movie is something that I always go back to watch and it always feels fresh marine because the suspense and the danger is that you don't really know whether or not there is danger. When you watch it, you'll understand. And it's also one of those movies where bad things happen to very innocent things and you don't like watching it on screen. They didn't have any qualms about doing that back then. And I respect them for that. I don't like seeing that happen in horror movies today. Like it hardly ever happens because they don't want to upset people. But I think that's a big reason why modern day horror movies don't do as well because they play it too safe. The next one is Pan's Labyrinth. This movie is very creepy and it's very weird. It kind of has a Coraline atmosphere to it. But there is a specific scene in this movie that just they did the tension so well. Like you never know what's going to happen. A lot of modern day movies and I'm not going to say that every movie in the past was perfect. But I find it more so through the modern day horror movies, they rely so much on jump scares and predictability, you know exactly what's going to happen. But in this movie, you don't know what's going to happen or when it's going to happen. And it freaks you out because you're on edge the whole time expecting that, oh, now this is the time when it's going to it's gonna scare you. Nothing happens. And you're like, oh my God. Just sitting there waiting in suspense, like what the? That's what true suspense is. Even just watching that scene over when I was adding it to the list, it freaked me out and I couldn't finish it because my nerves were just like, no. No, I, I can't. Whew, oh my God. Next is one of my favorite movies since I've seen it. It Follows. A lot of people still haven't seen this movie because it's not really mainstream. Neither is Pan's Labyrinth, but let me tell you, dude, they did everything right in this movie. There are some weird things in this movie where you don't even really know what time period it's in, and that's what makes it so awesome. They, and I like the way that the director did this because you're not really even sure if this is a modern day movie or an old movie because there are old cars, there's modern cars. There's old devices and there's modern devices. There's like a hybridization of the devices. So you never know. Like it's not a movie that's going to age badly. You're going to look at it maybe in like 10 years from now and you're like, wow, I don't even know when this took place. But that's not even what it's about. It's just the way they did things so well. Oh my God. It's one of those movies that, I mean, I love horror movies, but it's one of those movies I will not watch by myself <laughs> again. Like I just, uh, mm, no. And I don't want to even give anything away or hint anything. Just watch it. Watch it in the dark. Don't watch it with your cat on 
on your lap because it will scratch you when you jump. And it's not even a jumping movie. They don't rely on jump scares. Ooh, oh God, I'm just remembering. I, ooh, freak me the frick out. That just remembering that movie just sends shivers down my spine. I cannot. Whew feeling ill. All right, the next movie on the list and the last on the list, which doesn't mean that these are the only movies, but the last I'm gonna give you guys for now is Annihilation. Annihilation's one of those funny movies where you see it and it's not really picking up and you're like, no, nah, what is this? I don't, I don't really, I'm not interested. And then as it progresses, I become more invested just to know what the heck this movie is. They do a good job with the suspense and mystery leading up until the parts that even when they are displayed on the screen, you have no idea what the hell you're looking at but you're enjoying it and there are parts in this movie that just make this movie so unforgettable if i forget everything else about this movie i will not forget the things that i've seen in this movie i hope that makes sense so that's my list you guys jeepers creepers mimic the descent the thing pan's labyrinth it follows an annihilation some of these you can watch them on netflix and others you can just rent them digitally if you feel like doing that or you can watch them on cody whichever thing that you pay for or whatnot but if there's anything on this list that you have not seen, you definitely need to go and watch it. Just to say that you did. So are there any of the titles on this list that you guys have not seen at the time that you watch this video? If those of you are out there who have seen it, which out of the list was your favorite? Thank you so much for watching. This has been Ultiori. You ask, we answer.